Welcome back to the RAS American College of Surgeons and Behind the Knife Journal cast on landmark papers in surgery. I'm Tammany Yeager, an endocrine surgery fellow at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. Today, I'll be reviewing a randomized control trial determining if there is a role in closing platysma after a thyroid operation. Platysma closure is often performed in wound closure after thyroidectomy cases. Approximating this layer is thought to reduce the potential space for seroma formation and wound complications. Arguments have been made, though, that by suturing this layer, there's potential for increased postoperative pain or worsened cosmesis from granuloma formation. These investigators wanted to evaluate how a platysma muscle suture affects initial postoperative pain and scar cosmesis following thyroid surgery. This was a prospective randomized control trial with enrollment between May to November 2016. It was performed at a single tertiary center, and the comparison was platysma versus no platysma closure. The primary outcome was wound-specific postoperative pain 24 hours after surgery, and secondary outcomes included pain scores at 6 hours, 2 days, and 14 days post-op, post-op pain medicine requirements, wound complications including seroma or infection, Distortion of functional anatomy of the neck, including swallowing issues and depression of the corners of the mouth at six months post-op, and cosmesis of the surgical scar at six months. Inclusion criteria for this study were patients undergoing primary thyroid surgery, meaning their first operation. Exclusion criteria listed were known wound healing disorders, diabetes mellitus, known malignant disease before operation, previous neck surgery, coagulopathy, intolerance or contraindication to medications used in the trial because there was specification of anesthesia and analgesia medications and inability to understand the protocol and patient information leaflet. So what was controlled in the trial? So as mentioned before, intraoperative anesthetics and post-op pain control regimens were controlled for. Additionally, the surgical technique, including the incision location, thyroidectomy technique, and suture material used were all standardized. The patients were blinded to their allocated group. Here's a flowchart presented in the paper describing the enrollment, allocation, follow-up, and analysis processes. You can see 119 patients were evaluated for eligibility. This resulted in 82 patients to be randomized into either group. After this point, no patients were lost to follow-up and all were included in the final analysis. In addition to general patient characteristics such as age, sex, and BMI, you can see data on specimen weight, duration of the surgery, type of surgery, incision length, and diagnoses were included and compared between the two groups. The only statistically significant difference recorded between these characteristics of the two groups was the duration of surgery. The platysma closure group had a longer duration of surgery. Reviewing the results, let's first reveal the outcome of pain. There was a statistical difference in postoperative pain at 6 and 24 hours, with the platysma closure group having higher pain scores. Intraoperative opioids and opioids in the recovery room were not found to have a significant difference between the groups. The investigators did not find a statistically significant difference in wound complications, length of stay, cosmesis, or functional outcomes. The authors concluded that based on their results, omitting platysma closure reduced postoperative pain in the first 24 hours, and that there were no differences in cosmetic, wound, or functional outcomes. Given the population sample size, the authors discussed that the study was not sufficiently powered to detect minor differences in the cosmesis scoring. I'm Tammy Yeager, an endocrine surgery fellow at Mount Sinai Hospital. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me by email or on Twitter at Tammy K. Don't forget to review this content with this week's score module. Thanks for listening.